hello everyone so today we are going to discuss about plus one blur test as i have already told you that it is a post refraction test same like the duochrome test it is also performed at the six meters and is performed monocularly the six meter distance is because we have done this correction spherical correction of patient at the same distance so when we are going to verify that spherical power we are going to verify at the same distance right so it is six meters and we are going to verify in this case this only spherical power so over here you should know what we are going to do we have to place a plus one diopter plus lens or we have to place a convex spherical lens in front of the correction of the patient in the trial frame and you should know the principle that why are we placing plus one diopter it is because that we have to check either the number spherical correction you have given to patient is accurate or you have under corrected or over corrected the patient right so how we are going to do this we know that plus lens has some fogging ability right so plus 0.25 lens has the ability to fog the single line of the snell and chart that is 6 by 6 so plus 0.25 diopter lens blurs the 6 by 6 line of snell and chart so if we are placing plus one diopter lens in front of the patient so it will blur four lines to the patient right so six by six six by nine six by twelve and six by eighteen line will be blurred to the patient and if he has a correct spherical lens behind the uh, uh, plus lens so what will happen or in the trial frame so what will happen at that case that patient real acuity normal if he is emetropic after the correction so what will happen that his real acuity will be 6 by 24 right if his real acuity is 6 by 24 it means that patient has a correct uh, spherical number and he is now emetropic with the help of that specific spherical number right so that is the principle on which we are on the basis of which we are going to see that either the patient is over correct under correct or it has a correct spherical correction so after placing the plus one lens in front of the correction you just have to record the real acuity of the patient and see that till which line patient appreciates or reads the snell and chart so you have taken the real acuity of the patient and his real acuity with plus one lens is six by nine this means that either the patient is over minus or under plus it means that if he is hypermetropic he has and you have given the correction to the patient plus lens to the patient so hypermetropia is under corrected or if he has myopia and you have given minus lenses it means that you have over corrected that myopia so now you have recorded the real acuity of patient and his real acuity is 6 by 24 this means that the normal patient this is a normal patient or the correction spherical correction you have given to the patient is accurate right so this is a normal case and this is what we have to achieve normally right that patient should be 6 by 24 when and if he is 24 6 by 24 and when you remove plus one the lens from the uh, trial frame patient will be again 6 by 6 so this is how we are going to perform this test and what happens in a case in which you have given the correction to the patient and you are performing plus one blur test and his real equity is 6 by 36 this means that you have uh, over corrected the patient if he has hypermetropia and under corrected the patient if he has myopia so it means it patient can either be over plus or under minus so you have to either decrease the plus lens or increase the minus lens so this depends on the type of the uh, refractive error of the patient so for your remembrance you should know this simple rule if the patient comes to you and his real acuity is 6 by 9 you just have to add plus 0.25 dioptric lens until his real acuity is 6 by 24 and then algebraically add this plus 0.25 lens into the previous spherical correction so until patient is uh, 6 by 24 just add plus 0.25 and if his real equity is 6 by 36 you just need to add minus 0.25 dioptric lens until the patient's real equity is 6 by 24 so this is the simplest rule to remember while performing the plus one blur test 
so in this case if patient is over corrected he can again come back to his over correction can be reduced and if he is under corrected his uh, under correction can be increased until patient's real equity is achieved which is 6 by 24 right so here is a case that if a patient comes to you and his spherical correction is plus 1 you have done the refraction of patient and his spherical correction is plus 1 diopter sphere you have you are going to perform the plus 1 blur test just to know that this plus 1 lens you have prescribed to the patient is either over under or accurate so you have added plus one lens and forked his eyes and you have recorded the real equity of patient and his real equity is now 6 by 9. You just have to add plus 0 0.25 until and unless his real equity is attained to 6 by 24. So I have told you that if patient's real equity is 6 by 9, you just need to add plus 0 0.25 diopter spherical lens until and unless his real equity is 6 by 24 keep on adding plus 0 0.25 so you can see over here that when i added plus 0 0.25 his real equity is now 6 by 12 and when i have i have what i have said that you have to just algebraically add the ad added lens into the uh, spherical number or the correction you have given to patient so now his real equity is plus 0 uh, 1.25 and his real vn is still 6 by 12 you added 0 0.25 more now this is plus 1.5 diopter but his real equity is 6 by 18 you added plus 1. Uh, 0 0.25 again so now final lens in the patient's trial frame is plus 1.75 and his real equity is 6 by 24 so this means that patient was under corrected when i increase the lens his real equity comes back to the 6 by 24 and now the final spherical correction to the patient is plus 1.75 diopter so this is how you can perform plus one blur test so this was all about plus one blur test i hope it is very clear to you and now you can easily identify either the patient is over corrected under corrected or has a accurate spherical correction in case of any query you can comment in comment section thank you so much